But because this manifesto is anchored on his vision, he will be setting the ball rolling by sharing with us the vision and opinion the manifesto and very important highlights in the manifesto. But he will be back again for part two of his presentation where he will be sharing with us his first 120 day social contract. In other words, his promises for his first 120 day in office. I know that by now you already know who is coming. I, do you know who is coming? Are you ready? So, boy! You see, our country is at a defining moment. A time when all of us are called upon to the rescue to save what is left of our nation after eight years of deplorable leadership and mismanagement by the incumbent regime. Those who said that Yetisikasos were come there, those who said that they were too old to steal our money, those who projected themselves as economic messiahs have turned around to plunder the resources of this country. And today we are all feeling the consequences. We are all suffering. Never in the history of this country has our nation been subjected to this rape and state capture. And so, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, there is a loud cry for change. And make no mistake about it, this cry for change is not about any political party. This cry for change is about the redemption of the soul of our nation. It is about the healing of the soul of our nation. It is about resetting our country for jobs, prosperity for all, and accountability. And ladies and gentlemen, as daunting as this task is, we all have the collective capability under the right leadership to turn things around. The right leadership. But you see, who is that leader who can be trusted to lead all of us to build the Ghana we want together? I'm sure you will agree with me that that leader is none other than the visionary nation builder. A man of vision. A man who has love for Ghana. A man of integrity. Despite the many lies which were heaped on him and the deliberate character assassination that this man was subjected to. Today, God and posterity has vindicated him. Today, he remains squeaky clean. And one thing about this man is that he is not a try and error person. He is a man with a proven track record. In only four years, Choboy, this man gave Ghana the best international airport in the whole of West Africa. Choboy, in only four years, this man gave us the biggest port in the whole of West Africa. In only four years, and I'm not talking about projects that someone started and he came to complete. Projects started and completed. Choboy, in only four years, under his leadership, the Bank of Ghana Hospital was built. In only four years, the Ghana Maritime Hospital was built under his leadership. In only four years, the Dodoa Hospital was built. In only four years, here in the central region, the Kaswa Interchange was built. In only four years, the Kaswa Polyclinic was built. And under his leadership, in only four years, we saw the single largest contribution to our secondary commencement of the construction of 124 secondary schools, 46 of which he completed and operationalized. And today in the central region, if you go to Diaso, you will see some there. If you go to Mori, you will see some there. If you go to Awutu of Fako, you will see some there. And that is why we call him the nation builder. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the stone that the builders rejected which has become the chief cornerstone, the flag bearer and the leader of the great National Democratic Congress. And by the grace of God, the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, Toboyi, Toboyi.
Welcome to the microphone. His Excellency. His Excellency. His Excellency. His Excellency. His Excellency. His Excellency. John Dramani Mahama. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Nation Builder. Don Mahama, why, 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 why,